back to another great episode, man. It's the one and only guy, Ruck Double Lock, coming to you live, man. I got Zaire Patterson in the building, top high school football recruit, man, on his way to Clemson next year, ready to do big things, man. What's going on, brother? How you feeling? Feeling good. Good? Yeah. What's life been like, man, ever since you committed? Uh, it been quiet down a lot since recruiting. Recruiting is just a lot. All the coaches hitting you every day, like, mm-hmm. texting your phone. It's like, it's like a second job, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So tell me about yourself, man. What's, where are you from? What's, what's going on? Uh, went to Southern North Carolina. Uh, played football. I've been playing for two years now. I'm going to my third year to be this year. Mm-hmm. I always played basketball since like sixth grade. That's when I picked it up in middle school. And that's, that's pretty much it. Okay, so you always knew you was going to play basketball. So when did football come into play? Uh, football came into play when I came to prep. J5 brought me over here. They thought I'd be good in basketball. Feel me? As a freshman, I felt like I wasn't getting enough time. So, tried to coach me. We got me into playing football, and then football just turned out good. Mm-hmm. So football just turned out. When did you realize, like, oh, okay, like I, I might be able to do something with this? I'm D one. Oh, uh, man, we just messing around in practice. Practice was real. It was at the fourth game. Mm-hmm. He had come up to me. He's like, I got to tell you, sorry, I was proud of you in practice. So thirty more minutes go by, we done practice. We gotta get out. We in a circle. He say, we got offered by UNC. And I'm thinking of playing, find out for real, just excited, like jumping around, stuff like Chapel that. Chapel Hill? Yeah. That was your first offer? Yeah. You want to see Chapel Hill, your first offer? Ever. Yeah. Dang, yeah. So you knew off rip. You was, that set the bar right there. Yeah. And uh, that's when it turned into my life. We had to have talks. Like, it's still, it still got to be fun for you. You got to make sure it's fun. Don't make it a job. Play better when it's fun, stuff like that. Right, right. And you still feel that way? Like it's still fun for you? Yeah, if it's, if it's not fun, I don't play well. So I just got to remember, go through fun, make the game good, and I'll be straight. Okay. I like play and stuff like that. Okay, so you play DN, right? Yeah. All right, so y'all y'all the ones that get the sacks and all of that. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about the game? Uh, your most fun part, I would say. I don't, I don't run picks home. Pick six. Yeah, I done, I done start some slant routes, copy pick, ran all the way to the crib. You do a little dance for him in the crib, or you just you nah, just take it off? Got, just got there and get a rush of ball. I was out. Yeah, like you've been there before, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel you, I feel you. Okay, so growing up in Winston, man, it's a lot that goes on in Winston a lot of people don't know about. Yeah. So being a young kid like yourself, man, in high school, what is it that keeps you focused on on what's the goal at hand? Uh, just some of the examples I hear about. People not making it because they're not keeping their head on straight. Great mm-hmm. mom and dad keep my head on straight. Stuff like that. Like just staying in the sport, staying out of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about what about peers and, and things like that? How could they help or hurt you in a way? Uh, picking up all the offers I got. You feel me? But a few people will come back into your life that you don't really mess with, that you ain't talked to in the longest, and some that's been there for me for like day one. Mm-hmm. Like mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, stuff like that. They just, they talk to me, they let me know, keep my head on straight. Okay. So what's your biggest focus now? This is your senior year, right? Yeah. Okay, so what's your biggest focus going into next year, going into the big Clemson stage? What's going on? Uh, Just work, 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 development, development. Started late, so trying to get that catch stuff, get that muscle, being mm-hmm. able to dominate the next level like I do my level now. Okay, and why Clemson? Why Clemson? Like, out of all the ACCs, ACC schools, you chose Clemson. Uh, it's an on-field and off-field thing. Been able to become a better man and a better football player. And they just got great programs, power programs, a lot that goes into it. For sure. Yeah, so when they – I know what it, I know what it really was. You ain't got to tell the camera. But when they pulled you up on campus, you seen all them trophies and stuff. That's what it was. That boy's trying to get a ring. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Have you gotten a ring in, in high school for football? Uh, no, nah, I play on chess one this year. Okay, for sure, for sure. Hey. Told you he's right here first, man. He's going to get it. They go hurry up. Going to throw a little screen. Here comes Zaire Patterson off the defensive end spot. Hits the man. Fumble. And Patterson is going to fall on it as well. When did you decide on Clemson? What was that day like? Uh, Man, my mom and my pop sat down. Just had a long conversation. Where would be the best fit for me? And I had a top eight already. We talked to those. Uh, Plan. I wasn't gonna go to Notre Dame because they played in both conferences. Yeah, and really like conference. I said, sure, out on both sides. And you feel me? Try to get to the NFL. That was the main goal. And then we went to Clemson. It was like, if football doesn't work out, 
Yeah. And this would be the best spot for me to be. So we settled on Clemson, and that's when I made a decision. Okay, for sure. What was your, who was your top three? You said Notre Dame, Clemson. Who was the third one? Uh, it had to be Georgia, Alabama. Georgia, Alabama. Yeah. Bama, boy. <laughs> how'd you feel about that this year, though? How'd you, how'd you feel about Clemson and how they did? Uh, I feel like we did good. We uh missing a lot of people this year. Uh, receiver went down early. Uh, one of our linebackers, Skowski, went out a few times this year. It's just getting over injuries and being able to get back in the depth chart would be good. For sure, for sure. Yeah. When did you commit? Last year? Or yes. So your junior year? Yes. Okay, so what has it been like being a committed, like, big-time D1 commit in your city? How has that been for you? Uh, it got as good as and bad. You got people to hate on, you know, of course. Yeah. And then uh, it's good. Like, even my mailman know my name. Like, your mailman? Yeah, he <laughs> dropped out the mail at the house. He was like, here is he. That's like, what's up. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's what's up. That's what's up. So it's love and there's some hate to it, too. Yeah. All right, so... With that being said, what's the biggest thing you look for as far as like, like signs of time to tell? Because you know you got kids coming up after you, so you know yeah. they're gonna look at you in your next four or five years. Got your four or five rings, mm-hmm. and they're gonna want to know like, how can I keep my head on through all this, through all this hoopla that's going on in my city? Uh, it definitely starts with like who you hang around. Mm-hmm. You gotta hang around people with the same goals as you, same mindset as you, and want to do the same thing. But you also gotta you gotta be wary of those folks because the people can try to take you off for you before you get to where you need to go. It's just it's a lot that goes into it. I'm sure. So who you like to listen to? Who's your favorite artist right now? Um, right now it'd be Baby. Baby. Yeah. Little Baby or Little Baby. Little Baby. Not Little Baby. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he hard too, but it's Little Baby right now. Yeah. Little Baby for sure. All right. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do in your pastime? When you ain't on, when you ain't lifting, when you ain't working on the field, on the court, what you doing? We're on the game with it. On the game? What you yeah. playing? Call of Duty, Fortnite, man, and I play it all, man. Oh, yeah, let them, let them know your game tag so they can get that smoke. Uh, Playboy shout out, you get me. Yeah, you already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, last one. Who is your favorite, who's your favorite NFL player or who you look up to the most? Uh, Jadavion Clowney, most definitely. For sure? Yeah. Another South Carolina guy? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Well, if you had to choose one person that has been your full support system and your, your everything just behind you 100%, who would you choose? Definitely my mom. Mom, for sure? Yeah. Why you say your mom? Uh, Pretty she, obvious, but you know. Yeah, I stay with my mom. You feel me? She, that's, my, that's my everything, man. She, she helped me with everything, down to school, work, stuff like that. Keep my head on straight, motivation and sports. She's just always there, no matter what. Mm-hmm. For sure. What's your biggest goal out of this whole journey? What do you, and in your next, in your next uh, journey? Uh, definitely just being able to make it to the NFL and being able to support my family, live life with no worries, man. For sure, for sure. Well, appreciate you stopping by, man. Oh, Thank man. you once again, Zaire Patterson, man. Y'all be on the lookout for your brother. All right, let's get to practice. Run that back, turbo. You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave him the drill, they said it.